Hello everyone, welcome to iQuanta Quant 200 series. Now, this is a very good question of uh, permutation and combination. So, try this one and then we will discuss it. Okay. Although this is not entirely a permutation and combination problem, this is basically a numbers problem. If you have tried this, then you will know that this question does not have many permutation. A five digit number P, Q, R, S, T is such that it is divisible by six and P is less than Q, is less than R, is less than S, is less than T. If T is less than eight, then how many such five digit numbers are possible? Now, what do we know? As this is a five digit number, P, Q, R, S, T, all of them will be single digit number. Now, P cannot be zero. P can be at least one. Then Q can be at least two. R can be at least three. S can be at least four. Then T can be five, six or seven because T is less than eight. But it says this number is divisible by six. That means T can be only uh, 6, right? Because number is divisible by 6, then the unit digit must be divisible by 2. The number must be even. That means t must be less than 8, greater than 4, and even. We can say t must be greater than 4, less than 8, and even. That means t can take only one value, 6, right? Now, what we can say? Our number is p q r s t and instead of t i am taking 6 now this number is divisible by 2 already but what do we see that uh, if this number is divisible by 6 then it must also be divisible by 3 that means p plus q plus r plus s plus t must be multiple of 3 now t is already 6 that means we can say p plus q plus r plus s must also be multiple of 3. Now p, q, r, s, 4 numbers, all of these are less than 6 but greater than or equal to 1. So we can take the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Out of these 5, we need to take any 4 values, right? Such that the sum is a multiple of 3. So what we can say, if I add all these 5 numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, we are getting 15, which is a multiple of 3. But we need to take exactly 4 numbers out of these 5 and still sum should be multiple of 3. So what we need to do? We need to remove one number, which is multiple of 3. That means we need to take the values of P, Q, R, S from 1, 2, 4, 5. So what we can say? They are in increasing order. P must be 1, Q must be 2, R must be 4 and S must be Five. So our number is one, two, four, five, six. So there is exactly one such number, not more than that, right? 